I do think that's absolutely true, and I've talked to many uh, people with disabilities, friends of mine, who've said that, and they've, they've noticed a change. And we've got to make sure that we preserve that. And this isn't just a flash in the pan and the whole souffle of, of hope and optimism doesn't sink down again. I don't think it will. I think that the Olympics and the Paralympics have, have shone a, a, a light on all that's best in uh, the character of people in this city and, and, and in the country. And um, it's been people have, will want to preserve it and they'll want to keep pushing, pushing it forward. So can we keep the Games Makers? London's a nicer place for the Games Makers. Well, yes, you're absolutely right. There may well be times when we want to be uh, using them uh, to be the friendly, welcoming face of the city. It's a fantastic economic value to London to have people who know about the city, who love it and who want to be welcoming. And taking your mayor hat off for a moment, what was a personal highlight for you? That Saturday when you had uh, Mo Farah and Greg Rutherford and, and Jess Ennis all winning medals and you knew then that it was game over. It was the great, you, we knew we had a smash hit and it was going to be the greatest games ever. Yeah, just as we're all about to fall into post-Olympic blues after last night's Paralympic closing ceremony, luckily we now have one last chance to indulge in the feel-good factor of London 2012. Later on today, 700 Olympic athletes will travel through the streets of London in open-top floats to celebrate their medal haul. It's a victory parade with 21 open-top floats with the stars of Super Saturday appearing in the first three. So we're likely to see Jessica Ennis, Mo Farah and of course Greg Rutherford. Other stars likely to appear are Sir Chris Hoy, Victoria Pendleton, Laura Trott, Johnny Peacock and Hannah Cockcroft. The action kicks off at Mansion House at 1.30 with thousands of people expected to line the streets of the capital ready to celebrate the magic of London 2012 for one last time.